So, in this lecture, we are going to learn how to create railings. So, let's get to it. To create railings, I usually start on the ground floor. I click on architecture, then I look for railings. Save the project. They are now left click here and drag into this place. So selecting this, I'll click on host and label it as slope. I'll come to this one, cost down, then I'll write 450 depending on the height of my entry level. Then I'll click OK. Let me put it in 3D. Didn't slope, no slope at all. Let's edit it again. Click it. Post. Slope. Four fifty. Yeah, I don't know why I don't want the slope. I wanted the slope there, but when I rectify it, I'll get back to you on that. For now, let's delete it and come to entry level and insert it on these other places. So I'll click on railings and then I'll draw it here. come here finish okay I have that there so I'll select these railings come here I can change it to glass view I can change the height let's see what this will give us okay So you have that the height let me leave it the height of 900 let me leave the height of 900 come to this side I can left click on it right click create similar come this side Also have another one. Okay, we have that there. So we we'll go back to our ground level and let's create flower base. We we'll come to extrusion. And let's say maybe we want to have a flower base here. Yeah? Probably maybe want to have a curve like this. And offset this. Depending on the thickness I want. Have this. And drag this to close here. Good. I'll come to properties and change this in this case I can plant flowers in that place. So, see on the ground level, I can see create similar. I'll create the same thing this side.
finde ich. What is war in our three in our one? I forgot to rename it. Well, let's use that one. Okay. Okay, that's nice. So we have that. So we can create a fence parameter. At this point, we can also create a fence parameter. Come to architecture. No, we come to architecture. Then war. So we can sketch. Let's say that that was our fence parameter. I can select this fence parameter. Let me let's be seeing it in 3D. It's so short on the ground. You can select the whole of the fence parameter. Duplicate it and give it a column. Let's imagine that we had two. Imagine that we split this and we, we inserted. Imagine that this is the word that came. We had three colors there and we now, now it's fence and we don't have to have many colors. What we could have done here, we could have say merge. Then we pick merge and merge these colors. And then we now delete this walls that are zero zero thickness. Delete it, delete it. Remaining only the main one. Then we now select it and duplicate the color. You can write it fence, whatever. Then we can come to they say top we can say good base constraints ground level top one we can say unconnected height and then move it to 2000 good we have a fence there So we'll go back to ground level. So this place looks like this will be our gate. So we'll split. Split here. And split here then we can let's edit this gate part let it be in 3d yeah so we can on the properties we can come here duplicate this gate color let's give it something this 